name of my company is uh, a great software laboratory. Uh -huh. It was founded in 2003. I have about 100 employees now. Great. Tell me about a, a customer, a particular customer, or a prospective customer of yours, what they, an ideal customer, um, and explain what they do and how your product helps them. Okay, so we are actually in the space of communications conversions. That's our long-term vision. So that's what we, we build products that would uh, meet that long-term vision. So we also don't believe that it's going to happen overnight or in the, even in the next two, three years. So we are building a lot of products along the way where we build specific expertise and deliver these two different types of customers. So an ideal customer for us is people that are delivering uh, products on handheld devices or people who are creating collaborative uh, applications where voice, video, data can you know, interchange together, basically. Tell me a little bit about the evolution of the company, both you know, what's happened to date and, and how either your product or solution offering has changed over the time frame. Okay, so in terms of overall vision, we have stuck to our uh, mantra, so to speak, of communications conversions. This, there is a lot of history before the company was founded. I have had a lot of entrepreneurship experience. And this time what we decided was we would build a company that, is, that bootstraps itself from the beginning. So the initial focus was on building a company as opposed to building specific products. So we picked an area, we are building a company, we are bootstrapping it through a lot of service revenue and also very focused service projects that we take on. Our service projects themselves are actually evolved. We started with very pure outsourcing. Now we're taking on some projects where we have specific expertise so that we can bring high value outsourcing in that, those situations. As you've uh, grown the company and as you continue to grow it, what are the key things you look for in the, the, the type of people you hire, especially at a senior level in your organization? Is there a particular trait or traits you look for? And if you ran into somebody or you were interviewing somebody that didn't have that trait, that just wouldn't be the right fit. So is there a particular trait that you, that you focus on? Yes. Actually, I don't... Let me first tell you what I don't look for. I don't look for point skills. So what I look for really is creativity, basic intelligence, and ability to solve problems. Those are the three things we really look for when we hire people. Is there, uh, can you tell me about a small thing that you do as a manager that I impacts your company culture, that would illustrate your company culture, either an event that you do or a, a little thing that you do every week or something that sort of would illustrate your culture? It's something actually I do every minute, every hour, which is ask questions. I believe my job is to get people to think and I just ask questions regardless of what the statement is. If you were talking uh, uh, to somebody from a, a more traditional uh, manufacturing industry or something like that, somebody not in technology or, or a high growth industry, and you were to describe to them what excites you about the business that you're in, what would it be? The thing that excites me most about my business is nothing is constant. Every day, there is no matter what you're thinking of, there are 50 other people thinking of the same things. So the question is, how are you going to reach uh, you know, the milestones that you need to reach without getting trampled over by other people. Um, if you had one particular piece of advice to give an entrepreneur, somebody just thinking of starting their first venture, etc., what would you tell them? Start sooner. <laughs> okay, good enough. And tell me a little bit about your background prior to starting th this venture. So I've been an entrepreneur for a long time. I came to the U.S. in 83, got my Ph.D. in computer engineering worked for IBM, which is a great company to work for, to start with. Then I joined a small startup and started my own startup soon thereafter uh, called Internet Junction that did uh, IPX to IP gateways, which I sold to Cisco. It was the sixth company that Cisco acquired. And I worked for Cisco for about five years. Again, a great company to work for. Uh, that was in the Bay Area. So I moved here uh, to the Chicagoland area in uh, 1998. And around 2000, I started another company called Survega, which did XML switching. Raised about $25 million uh, of venture funding around the country. And last year, it was acquired by Intel Corporation. So that's my background. And with all these ex this experience that I had with starting companies, you know, having exits, and also working for big companies, I now believe that I need to build a company which has a very strong foundation. And that's why we're taking a long time to build this company with some very strong core values.